What's up, YouTube? This is the first of many reviews I'll be doing. First one up, some deck rails. We got some Santa Cruz slime rot, slime line. It's hard to say. Slime line. Let's see if I can say that this whole video. Yeah, the Santa Cruz slime line. And some black diamond rails. My first initial thoughts out of the packaging is that the Santa Cruz slime lines are considerably heavier and thinner and they also hollowed out in the bottom and nice and flat and also rounded and less beveled than the black diamond rails which are fatter not as flat on the bottom which may affect how flush they sit with the deck they are taller and they bevel down considerably at the at the end here. Let's actually open these up and get a better look. So I noticed they have a dip right here and a little dimp a uh, little hole right there. A little dimple of a hole right there. Which I don't know is going to affect slide, but that's what the review is for. Also, the screws seem to be uh, lighter and flathead on top. With the Santa Cruz, this, the screws are bulkier and rounded. The Santa Cruz rails also come with two stickers, a Santa Cruz sticker and a slime line sticker. Also, instructions on the back that say, position each rail half inch to one inch from the edge of the board as shown with the taller edge to the outside. Using a two inch Phillips screwdriver or power driver, apply downward pressure and carefully screw in all the provided screws. These also have five holes and the black diamonds have four. First, I'm gonna try out these Santa Cruz slime line ones and I'm going to do a lot of curb skating, that's why I got these. Hopefully we can get some combinations, some wing back board slides to Feebles and Hurricanes. Which these might be better for uh, leaning back on, as far as these are flatter, but we're going to find out. So yeah, let's get these on a board and get to some curb skating. Alright, we got the rails on the board. I got kicked out of my slappy spot yesterday, so I didn't get any footage. And then I went to this other spot that did not have a double curb, but I found a double curb today to try them out on, so let's give them a whirl. All right. All right, so this spot needs a little maintenance. It needs to be dug out on that side and then maybe we can get some more combinations going but for now it seems to be another hour so I'm gonna go try to find another curb. All right I found this double-sided curb behind me. Let's see how long I can skate before we get kicked out. It's at the hospital so we'll find out. <laughs> the bat I didn't like these rails they just felt cheap cheaply made and the screws didn't seem well quality and after I skated them they didn't even stick on the board 
I had to re-drill it a few times to even find the right place. I definitely won't be getting these rails again. Uh, they don't they don't have a shape. They're just very square and seem like uh, cheap plastic. And for the Santa Cruz rails, these ones were better. They were considerably heavy, but I got, was able to get used to tricks. Um, was able to do tricks on round rails. Was able to do flip tricks. I to get, it took about a week to get used to. But after the second week, I was I was definitely used to it and loving it. Because I could board slide things that I could never board, would even think about board sliding before. Uh, just crusty ledges, crusty red curbs. One thing I did notice is they did start to grind down pretty fast. Like I'm almost down to the screws. So if you're someone who wants to make their board last three months or a couple months at least, and you do a lot of board slides, these rails, these Santa Cruz rails might not do the job for you. Overall, I was, I was I'm pleased with them. I'm going to keep skating them another week until I set up a new board. And when I set up a new board, I'm going to try out these Little Johns. So yeah, now that I'm such a big fan of rails, these little company out of Texas, Corey Little John, he'll make any custom rail that you want. These ones, I think these ones are going to be the rails that I, I go with every time. Just because you can just tell the quality, uh, the craftsmanship, the lightweightness, and they look durable. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed all that footage. And stay tuned for when I give the full review on these little Johns. I just, I know they're going to be good though. Yeah, rock on guys. Keep skating.